Almighty God. The Thursday afternoon parliament session started on a high note, coupled with the return of some of the members in the opposition, who on Tuesday this week walked out of parliament in protest of the accusations that police interfered with the political activities of the National Unity Platform Party. Chaired by the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Tayewa, the full house was made to interest itself on a matter of procedure raised by Rakai Woman Member of Parliament, Juliet Subi Chinyamatama, who accused the Michiana Municipality MP Francis Zake of insulting and abusing her personality at a function in Rakai District. Honorable Speaker, on the 9th of October, one of our members, the Honorable Zake, came to my constituency and used defamatory words against me that I cannot mention here. The matter turned controversial, so literally eking the rules of procedure of parliament, and the presiding officer pushed the ball the to the parliament's committee on rules, privileges, and discipline. Yeah. Now I'm wondering whether the member is in order to raise issues concerning Zake. Yes, this, is, was, this yeah. wasn't part of your communication, right, Honorable Speaker? So I'm inquiring. Yeah, because you see, if you want to shout, we have the mouth, we can begin shouting. Yes, we can, if that's what you want. So, Honorable colleagues, if you think that you're going to go out and you do whatever you do that affects the image of Parliament, and you say, I did it from outside, you can't touch me, a kind ray we will apply our rules. Chinyamatama requested that the video recording accusing MP Zake be played, leading to a commotion which forced the deputy speaker to suspend the house for some time. House suspended for 10 minutes. When the sitting resumed, the deputy speaker Tayiwa, in a bid to contain the situation, requested the members to allow the video play and the house moves to the next item. But the next detail, which was the statement by the State Minister for Internal Affairs, David Muhozi, on the security handling of the National Unity Platform political activities, faced resistance from the members whose attitudes were beyond control. That one, you find a section of MPs who feel strongly aggrieved to the extent that uh, an abuse or an insult, you equate it, you give it a greater weight than the killings, the maiming. In a social media circulated video, MP Francis Zake, while at a function recently in Rakai district, provoked the area woman MP Subi Chinyamatama using statements which to some members were abusive and insulting. I will do whatever it takes to have justice as a woman and on behalf of the women of this country. And that is why you saw all women in this house support the cause of fighting against anyone who touches the dignity, the dignity and the reputation of a woman in this country. Parliamentary politics, secondary, they wanted to stop this debate by using Chinyamatama, such that we do, they vulgarize us as opposition and we don't say anything about what is taking place in the country. The Deputy Speaker, Thomas Taiwa, then prematurely adjourned Parliament to next week after the commotion was fueled by fist fights when some members attacked and started beating up MP Zake from his seat. <laughs> but this comes at a time when the Constitutional Court on September 2023 quashed the recent move by Parliament to censure MP Zake from the Parliamentary Commission. Daniel Mugoya Gloria Gutabinji, UBC News.